so it's time again to do some painting. I began by removing things from the wall and filling in the holes. It's a good time to point out that I learned through my research of carbon monoxide detectors, smoke detectors, and propane leak detectors, and finding out exactly what I needed for the camper, that I had actually placed my carbon monoxide detector too close to the ceiling. Obviously, these are pretty low ceilings in these campers, and so I had it pretty much all the way up to the top. And you may have already known this, but I didn't, that you actually need a little bit of space. I don't remember the exact recommendation. I would say, let's just say six inches. That may or may not be right, but for whatever reason, you don't want it right there at the corner. You don't want it all the way to the floor. You don't want it all the way to the ceiling. So when I replace it, as you'll see at the end of this video, I actually put it down about eye level since there's not tons of clearance. Another completely random side note is that ever since my friend kind of explained to me how to do cutting in and I bought some nice quality paintbrushes, I'm finding it almost enjoyable, I'm getting much better at it, and I'm saving a lot of time on taping things off. And something like that thermostat I would have dreaded before, and I was pretty much able to do it, I hate to say the word, but almost perfectly, and just move on. Definitely getting the practice with this camper. And now we're going to take a trip in the time machine to go back a few months. Notice that counter off to the right, and even the old sink, and that I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah, I got my bathroom door painted and dealt with months ago, and I've left it in the garage because I knew I was going to paint that wall, so I was like, there's no point in putting it back up. So we're going to go ahead and finally throw that footage in because we're actually working in that area today. And now we'll head back to present day. Now on this particular day, I wasn't finding a lot of motivation. And I know that painting always takes me two or three coats, so I mustered up just a little bit of motivation to go out and put the first coat on. But the funny thing is, is with this camper, I'm a little bit obsessive. And that coat went on, went away for a little bit, came back, did another coat. And as you'll see, I pretty much completed this whole area in this one day, just doing multiple coats, finding ways to paint one thing, move on to painting another, go do something else for a little bit, and then coming back around. I thought my brush was more dry than it is. I used this brush yesterday for the tan and I'm sure if you're paying attention it's still got a lot of water in it. Way more than I actually expected. very much or not.
This was not my plan, but since it was definitely wetter than I realized, I'm kind of trying to just brush the water out of things. Like I feel like taking that paper towel and squeezing the brush actually dried the brush out a lot. But now I got this, you know, wet paint, watered down paint on the trim piece here. But I do believe I can kind of brush that out and take care of it. I probably could have painted this entire camper interior, you know, using one color and finishing the whole thing like in one weekend or whatever. And then like the trim and another or something to that effect. But I just find that boring. And like doing the trim is not a lot of fun for me. That tedious work. I have gotten a lot better at it, but uh, it's nice to be able to break up the project, like get the big roller strokes in and then take a little break, you know, a half hour later and do something with more detail. So, you know, whatever. Plus I'm compartmentalized, you know, person. If you're following this camper remodel, I've really been moving section by section and I'll get off. A little bit for one you know like a one little small project just because it's needed to get done um, one of my recent videos you know I replaced the the plug to tow this that's because even though the campers not completely remodeled we're probably gonna be taking it out soon we were actually looking at doing it a couple weekends ago and we're probably gonna be going on a little weekend camping trip so it was needed to get done um, but anyways while I might deviate Occasionally, I kind of work section by section. I'll wipe that off just a little bit. It's just barely on the bottom of that door, but. I made you guys appreciate time lapse yet? Are you missing it? Or are you enjoying the very slow paced and quiet and listening to the birds chirp? Or are you just sitting there not worried about any of that and going, what in the heck are you doing? Why are you painting with those strokes and stuff like that? Right or wrong, I felt inspired to leave just a little bit of real-time footage in here without a whole lot of commentary, just to accurately and properly represent what it really feels like when you're painting this whole thing. But especially the way that I started that, with that uh, wet brush, which was my mistake, that was a dumb error, but... I think it was salvaged okay. Um, obviously, you know how progress works. 
This is not what it'll look like in the end. But for the moment, fair enough. since we've had this uh, door on. Alright. Is it seated right? Is it going to close and open? Huh. Um. Did I put this on backwards? I sure did. Got a couple scuffs to touch up as well. Well, don't I feel silly? Now let's touch this up to notice this. Okay. Now, it's on the proper side. How about that? really kind of surprised, but I was able to get the cabinet doors done in one day. Of course, I just spray painted the hinges, used the same exact ones because they're in pretty good shape. They just were ugly. Two coats of paint on the doors themselves. Took off the hardware for the closers. Put new knobs from Hobby Lobby on there. One's a chicken and one's a cow. And then we have brand new closers I put in. The reason for throwing out the old ones is half of them don't work anymore, and that one on the left was not working. So it was time for it to go. And when I say closers, I think two or three times on there, I meant latches. Hopefully you knew what I meant, though. Alright guys, feels pretty darn good today. Um, I would have loved to have done the trim and really complete this whole area, but, you know, we got some... New knobs, we got the uh, the doors up here secured, you know, working good, looking good. Some trim, this paint done, got everything put back together. That light, which the bulb was just burned out, but another light, you know, replaced. I love every time I replace one of those, get a brand new one in here, feel good about it. Um, you know, did a little more touch up over here where we had just a little bit before. And one of the small things that just makes me so happy is I've been waiting to paint these walls before putting this door back on. It's been sitting in my garage for, I don't know, three months. Um, you know, and we have a bathroom door again. And it seems to work good, shuts good, secures. So this thing's coming right along. We'll see what we do next. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.